Myth 1. You have to have been knocked out to have a concussion. Most people who get a bump to the head don't lose consciousness, but they still get concussion symptoms. A concussion is a traumatic brain injury that happens from a bump, a violent jolt, or blow to your head, and that interrupts the normal brain activity, but doesn't necessarily knock you out. My name is Sarah Jeffries. I'm a registered nurse here in Los Angeles, California, with experience in ER nursing and education. In this video, I'm talking about some common mistakes people often think about concussion. Not only have I seen a few concussions in my time as an ER nurse, but I'm also married to Olympic boxer Tony Jeffries. So I've learned a thing or two over the years about head injuries. Myth number two, if you don't have symptoms immediately, you don't have concussion. Wrong again. In some cases, concussion symptoms won't show up for hours, days, or even weeks after an injury. Sensitivity to light and noise, irritability, and difficulty sleeping, fatigue, are some of the more delayed signs and symptoms. Myth number three, you only get a concussion from being hit on the head. Concussion can also happen if the body is suddenly moved with enough force that your head is jolted or twisted, which causes the brain to move inside the head. For example, a car accident or a fall down the stairs. It's all connected, so it makes sense, but a lot of people just assume that concussion is just about being hit on the head. Now you know that's not true. Myth number four, I'm wearing head protection, so I'm not gonna get a concussion. Sorry, you're wrong. Although wearing head protection for contact sports is safer than not, it still does not prevent you from sustaining a concussion. The brain can still be rattled around inside your head. It's protected by layers and fluid, but it's still delicate. Think of pickles inside of a jar. They can still be rattled around in there. Before I tell you about the last myth, I'd love to know if you've ever experienced a concussion. What did your recovery look like and how are you feeling now? Let me know in the comments section and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see me again. Before we carry on, I just have to let you know this video is for educational purposes only and not a replacement for medical advice. Myth number five, I feel fine so I can go and play my sport again. Symptoms can take a while to show up and if you're not careful and go and play too soon without being cleared by a medical professional, your risk of getting another concussion increases dramatically and what's more serious is that you can develop post-concussion syndrome. Post-concussion syndrome, also known as persistent concussion syndrome, it's basically a concussion symptom that lasts much longer after the initial injury phase. PCS can last up to a whole year. That's why it's so important to monitor your own symptoms of any head injury and really take care of your brain. Click here to learn about the full damage that concussion can do and what you can do to manage your own symptoms.